pressure on Arizona's family. State Superintendent of Public Schools Kathy Hoffman is weighing in on the state of education here in Arizona. Today, Nicole, she got an up close look at how a YMCA is offering help to children doing online schooling. Now this Y partnered with the State Department of Education to help provide some oversight for those online learners whose parents can't help them with their schoolwork throughout the day. Often talked about how places like this are helping students who just simply aren't in the classroom. We did see it as a way to reduce the pressure on the schools. And I actually heard that when I was speaking with many of the students in there. I was asking them about this experience and many of them mentioned that this is a place where they can be safe and not catch COVID. Now we asked her if there was a light at the end of the tunnel in terms of the pandemic's impact on state schooling. In terms of the future of this, I think there are still some um, short term challenges, long term challenges. But then I do want to make sure we're keeping our eyes open to opportunities. What have we learned? What does this mean for hybrid learning, for online learning? So what worries her? Well, Hoffman expressed concerns to us about thousands of students falling behind due to lack of Internet service at home as well as other resources. Of course, we know the school year is still very stressful and it's hard to keep up with all the changes. So we have a list of school districts plans around the state, plus other resources for parents and students. It's right now on our mobile app, AZ Family News, as well as our website, azfamily.com.